Hi everybody, I'm taking place in Craft 57's Open Challenge, playing an uncreative race and then um, in a large galaxy and then try to win in the minimum number of turns. So I'm gonna load up this game, uh, Uncreative Open Challenge, start date 3500.0. Uh, let's look at our race. So we are the Illyrian, modified Illyrian. We are unification, production plus one, spy plus 10, low gravity, large homeworld, uncreative and telepathic. Now uncreative of course means that our tech tree is uh, quite limited. Only one option per field. And let's see what we have here. We start with fighter base, fusion drive, tritanium armor, no research labs, Okay. <coughs> now the fact that we are um, telepathic and espionage plus 10 means that our spy bonus is 20 actually. 20 spy bonus. And defensive 35 because of 15% for uh, unification. Now let's look at our system, home system. We are Draconis. Ultra poor low G, small desert, medium tundra abundant. Now, because this is going to be a blitz game, we are telepathic. We are not going to build any, build any transports. Uh, that's at least very likely. So the first thing I'll do is scrap marine barracks, which is right here. Get 30 BC and we save on our maintenance uh, costs. So we, uh, we only spend 2 BC now per turn for the star base in orbit here. For the rest, our, uh, our, ho our home is empty, man. We have nothing. So there's 3 stars. Yeah, 3 stars that we can reach. Let's explore a bit. Uh, let's let's refit this scout because scouts start with laser uh, guns and it's not very useful. Let's refit one scout actually and then build a third one. And then we're going to build some outposts to find the first race. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna swap this for. Uh, I'm gonna swap the scout for an outpost ship. Let's do the outpost ship first, because I, I'm doubting that we'll find any good planets in this um, in this neighborhood. Remember, we're low G, so rich heavy G is, you know, not very good for us, especially in the beginning of this game.
eel here, space eel. It's guarding this uh, huge barren ultra rich planet with gem deposits. That's a nice one, nice planet. So we meet the Darlock. You can see I'm called Craft57 here because it was uh, his save game and not mine. I hope that your race will last long enough to give my people a little sport, Craft57. Like a cat with a mouse, we enjoy playing with our prey before destroying it. Okay, that's impressive. Um, so we've met our first opponent. So let's blitz, blitz them a bit. So as you see, I'm actually taking a farmer off here to uh, increase uh, the production rate. 17 turns uh, becomes 15 turns uh, to completion. And we are getting a little bit of starvation here. But it's fine. It's, you know, we are 623k in the plus, so we can, do we can do this for a long time. Let's see where they are. Gold deposits. Now this is a nice planet actually to colonize. Not because it's large or barren, but because it has the gold deposits and it's going to give us some extra cash. It's quite useful actually. I think I'm going to settle there. Mithras. So you see we're 10 turns into the game and I have uh, zero research points and I don't think I will be researching anything uh, in the foreseeable future. It can take a while before I start attacking. Daisy, I'll take it. I'll take this one. See here, five special income. How nice is that? So we now are, we are now at plus twelve BC per turn. And we can explore a bit more.
zip system with a stable wormhole. Hmm. Ah, so we meet uh, somebody now. Your people are only fit as slaves to the noble silicoid empire. Your utter destruction is inevitable. So say we all. Let's have a look what it is. Babylon. Eight turns to go. Small Baron Ultra Rich. <laughs> the silicoids on an ultra rich planet. Now that's that's something I want to have. That's something I want to have. And we find Drax. Oh. Drax is the spy master. He is assassin, so he kills enemy spies. A random chance to uh, kill enemy spies. And he's spy master, which makes our spying uh, on other races uh, easier, three percent better, which is great. That's going to be very useful. Very useful. Ah, I might be able to buy it next turn, actually. No, I have to wait one more turn. Now I can buy it. 188 BC to buy 94 production, so that's a 1 in 2 ratio. And let's design a supporting ship. A supporting ship for the Carabella. Uh, no, not this one. This one. Here it is, Carabella. This has nine nuclear missiles in total, two shot uh, missiles. Well, let's send it to Mithras, four turns. Let's see if we can demand something from these guys. I want biospheres. Not only do we reject your proposal, but we declare war on the Illyrian Empire for suggesting such a deal. Okay. It has been an honor to speak with you again, Emperor Kraft 57 of the Illyrians. I'll see you again soon. 
goodbye. Bye bye. I'm not gonna buy this for this two turns because um, it's gonna cost me 64. I have 76 in reserve, but my income will drop uh, to negative. And I could say, yeah, I could set a tax or something, but I don't, I don't want to do that for for one turn game. So let's let's use our mind control. Let's use a mind control. Here we go. Mithras is ours. What shall we do here? I'm gonna do some housing for the time being. In the meantime, we just continue until uh, to Nazin. Let's just continue to Nazin. <coughs> I'd like to have this Sinqueda, Sinqueda there as well when I take the starbase down, so we have to wait for the ship to arrive. And that's okay. Turn 22. Here we have our destroyer. Six turns to go. We're going really slow here. We only have uh, uh, standard drives, two parsecs per turn. So actually somewhere during this game I want to upgrade that uh, to, to the fusion drive. And okay, so I guess that's it. We're gonna have a fusion drive, and unless we steal something, uh, we're gonna have to do it with that. So let's look. Let's look at these statistics here. I haven't put a computer, so our beam attack is zero. Uh, we have nine combat speed. If you multiply it by five, you get a beam defense of forty-five. We have no jammers, we have no race bonus, so uh, missile evasion is zero. Titanium armor on the destroyer, 10 structure, 10 armor. And a bunch of missiles and extended fuel tanks. As you see actually, I'm, I, I'm keeping uh, production high here and uh, that starvation of 11k is still going on. I could do it like this uh, for a few turns. Um, but you know, I don't think it's worthwhile for this game. So here we are at Nazin. I have the cruiser and three frigates, and uh, I'm not gonna attack because. Or should I attack? Hmm. No, I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna wait for my destroyer. Here is Administrator Lydon, the noble. She's a diplomat, famous and mega wealth for ATBC. Okay, I'll hire you. still have this starvation uh, message every turn and this is 13 turns for our second cruiser will be ready and a second destroyer minus six food now because we're housing here and on these two other planets we are now four population they have no food <laughs> okay we'll solve this later
This is just a standard uh, star base that everybody gets at the start of the game. As you can see, the Darlock have no um, upgrades or anything, just the laser cannons and the nuclear missiles. 60 armor structure points. Mm, oh, if we look at these stats here again, uh, star bases are always regular crew. They don't gain experience, uh, at least they don't gain uh, like veteran or elite crews. Uh, so beam attack is built from the computer plus 25 and 15 from experience points that makes up a 40 plus 40 Beam defense uh, also gets the 15 uh, bonus from being a regular crew But uh, it starts at minus 20 because of uh, being immobile And then 7% missile evasion is 7.5% uh, rounded down and the 7.5% is, is half uh, of the 15 that you got for uh, beam attack and beam defense. Uh, computer uh, points are 10 out of 10. So computers can uh, be damaged and then this uh, number will go down. And if it reaches zero, then the computer is destroyed and doesn't give a bonus anymore. If we look at their scouts, uh, the Darlock have the 25 attack for the computer. They have a beam defense of 75. And that means that, uh, I haven't checked them actually, but that means that they have a um, uh, ship defense uh, bonus. Or beam defense, a ship defense bonus that leads to uh, plus 25 beam defense and 25 missile evasion bonuses <laughs> so it might be that some of our missiles miss actually let's hope that's not the case but we'll see
So actually one of our missiles did miss here because this one is flying here. That was my third missile shot at the scouts and he's flying here unharmed. Hmm. I'll keep shooting with my laser scout, but um, you know, it's not very effective. Bam! And we mind control. And we find biospheres from the Darlock. This is GNN bringing you today's headlines from across the galaxy. The Dalek Empire has been completely destroyed. Very nice. So we're 29 turns in the game. Oh here, yeah. Nazin is conquered. So you guys are gonna make some starbase. I'm gonna end this first episode here. And continue the game later. Let me just make a quick save here. Game. Okay, guys. See you next time.